tell you guys, I don't know why I'm excited for the Juicy J fight against Christian Juicy Rodriguez. J. <laughs> so Julian Arosa's back in there. Talk about some. Sometimes you look at a history of a fighter, and it's it's hard to figure out. Uh, Rodriguez is is the bigger favorite here at, at 235. He's the much younger fighter at 26. So he's got some built-in advantages here. Does that lead you towards the Christian Rodriguez side here, Kyle? Uh, I was I'm nervous about it. What leads me to the to the Christian Rodriguez side is that uh, our boy Juicy J here cannot take a punch anymore. You get knocked out in the first round by Bruce Leroy. All right, like I don't know that Bruce Leroy yeah. is knocking many people out in the first round. Juicy J is done. He's been knocked out early like ten times too. Like this is not something new. And he sort of got better after some KO losses uh, in early 2020 and 2021 or whatever. Went to some decisions with uh, Duwadi, Charles Jordan, who, he, who goes to decision all the time. But then it's first round knockout, Bruce Leroy. Padilla, first round knockout. And not like like he looked out. And then he gets the first round sub. He snatches up Ramos and gets it before he gets his chin hit. Christian Rodriguez has never knocked out anyone in the UFC. He's a decision mat monster. He's moving up. In what, he's the smaller guy. He's 5'7 compared to 6'1. All that stuff makes me terrified to take this. But Christian Rodriguez is better everywhere, and I think he gets his first knockout here. I think he's going to have himself a Jordan Levitt moment, get his oh first my. knockout here, and uh, who better than Juicy J because his ch- he's done. Juicy J needs to take the gloves off and leave them in the octagon when this fight is over. See, I'm on the Arosa side for all the reasons that you mentioned because we do have Rodriguez going up in weight. We do have Mm -hmm. a guy who's not known for his power, a guy that normally just goes 15. And I actually see – I know this sounds crazy. I actually see a pathway for Juicy J to get a submission victory if the cardio gets to Rodriguez. He's the smaller guy. He tires and the fight hits the ground. I think that's where Arosa can go to work. So to me, if he can survive the first five, because I think you're right, that should be the clear advantage you would think for Rodriguez in that first five minutes. But I don't think he can get him out of there because he's not known for his power. And, <laughs> no. and is the power going to translate going up? I guess it's the right guy to figure it out against against Arosa with a bad chin. But I'm looking to survive the first five, and then I think Arosa's really live. So I'm not going to get too uh, fish out of water here and look for that submission prop, but I was looking to that side. But I'm going to take Arosa here at plus $1.80 and ta- take a shot in the dog that he can survive against a smaller guy in altitude and look to get the, the ground game going eventually. Matty, am I nuts for being on the Juicy J side here? I don't know. I don't. I didn't know what to do with the, I didn't know what to do with this fight. I. I think that depending on. Well, I don't even know what the KO number is here, but you almost have to. If you want a long shot, you almost have to blindly take that because, you know, you're right. C Rod doesn't have the power, but if there's anyone that he can finally get a KO against, it's it's Arosa. So <laughs> right. Or Shannon. I kind of want to take Shannon a stab Ross on that, GCJ. but you know, it, it's, uh, what's the KO prop pay? I'm looking, so. It, I- Right so now. you're looking like, for the 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 C Rod KO prop, but yeah, maybe you could do the two way action there. You could look to uh, to the Rodriguez KO prop, and then maybe the Arosa uh, look uh, submission that. prop, right? That that could be a couple ways to go if you want to look for longer shots here. And as Michael chimes in, yeah, Arosa has been very chinny. I think we we all understand that. That's why if you want to get a little bit uh, crazy with it and a little bit more creative. Maybe that C Rod via KO prop is not a bad way to go. But Kyle, you're taking the shorter shot here inside the distance that Rodriguez just gets the finish here at plus star sixty five. Yeah, and, he, and he, I think he could submit him to. Uh, I don't. Know, there's there's just lots of ways. I'm looking on the market here. I got the wrong fight up. I'm trying to find the knockout for. It's not up yet at Bet US. So let's see if I can find it just uh, on the market method of victory. Rodriguez by KO is it's only plus two fifty. You think you'd wow. get a little bit better than that? Yeah, I can't even, I can't even so get there. So I'll just take inside the distance plus one sixty five. If he snatches up and chokes him too, I'll take that as well. Um, All right. And I'm going to be on the oh. Arosa side here. It's gone up, so I'm, I'm getting uh, people coming in on Rodriguez. I get it. So I'm going to play that uh, plus dollar ninety five price tag here in Arosa to surprise uh, maybe one more time for Juicy J. But you're right. It could be a take the gloves off in the octagon type night here, too, if it goes really badly uh, for Julian Arosa. That's for sure. Uh-